I think like, it'd actually be funnier if at that point just say it and we'll, we'll keep it in. Yeah. <laughs> Especially Bitch if you're going to say, Bitch, the camera. Oh, geez. What? We're live. Oh, are we live? Yeah. Oh, welcome back to Two Rights Make a Wrong. That's Daniel. That's Russell. Um, and as usual, we have Carl. He's probably not going to be seen today, but he's here. Um, we've got Lilo, and we've got a special guest today. Um, many named fella, that one brown kid. Brownies, brown, B.A., Brownie. You already said that. <laughs> Brown, no, there's no, a difference between twirl. brownie and brownies. Yeah. There okay. Is. There is. Right. I remember the first time that I met Brown. Oh, you remember the first time you met Brown? Yeah. When was this? Uh, this was a while ago, but it was in Carl's couple basement. Years? It was a couple years. It actually probably was a couple years ago, legitimately. Um, and uh, I asked him what his name was, and I don't remember what his actual name is. But then I asked him if his last name was Brown. He said no. And I said, oh, so they call you Brown because you are Brown? And he just, yeah. I'm like, yep. okay. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yep, that's <laughs> That was my first interaction with Brown. Nice. Is that, does that, do, do you remember the first time you met my brother? I do not. Okay, but cool. But that situation. Is there, are you talking into a microphone? Oh, no. I do not, but that situation is the kind of situation, uh, that I'd have a little chuckle to myself about. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. We probably all we probably all chuckled about that. Right? What's, <laughs> your, is your name David? No. No. <laughs> let me let me guess. Just give me give me a score from one to ten on how close I am. From David? Um, from one. What's what end of the spe- Like ten is close. Yeah. Um, I would say like that's a six actually six six. Oh man, Derek. No, that's mm. not, I, that's cold colder. I'm going to go with hot and cold. What's with the Ds? Robert? Well, because uh, maybe that was the thing that made it a six. It started with a D. I don't know. I don't. Who makes the rules? Robert. They're way, way too cold. Um, Carl. No. <laughs> with That's, a C. No. <laughs> no. Although I would consider with a C warmer, but it's not. Um, Craig. No. That's no. Now you're still. What's my number? A cold. Like I don't know. I, I don't know. The number we- thing is weird. How do you okay, do that? That's. Know. How do you translate a number to hot and cold? It's ten is hot, and one is cold. Um, I don't know what his name is. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get Steve. No, way too cold. Steven. No, no even cold. Is it is it a white person's name? Yes. Man. <laughs> There's so many of those. <laughs> <laughs> Millions. There's only like three, like, black names. So. <laughs> okay. Ah uh, man, what does he look like? He looks like uh, cause because there's someone else in your friend group who. Shares his name. Yes. Shares his name. Which, now by the way, something. Ryan. By the way, we also don't call that person by that name either. Nope, we call him by his last name. And do I know this guy? <laughs> yeah, you. I think you know. Uh, you know him by name at least. Is it Geiger? Yeah. I have no idea what Geiger's first name is. Yeah. Either. <laughs> <laughs> Great hint. Do you remember what he looks like? Uh, is he the one that looks like other friend? The one that made you sad? <laughs> no? Okay, it's not him then. I don't know. Anything you just said. Yeah, to remember me really- the, when, when we were shooting the music video and I made you sad because I said, hey, he looks just like this other guy, and then you got all sad? Is that Geiger? He was at the music oh, video. probably. The guy in the then, uh, now, now, I think, uh, now I think I know what you're talking about, too. and yeah, no. He was wearing a suit. Yeah, he was yeah. wearing a suit. Oh, he was, he was wearing a suit. Yeah, remember. then that's Geiger. He was guy. wearing a yeah. suit? Yeah. yeah, he was, yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember the shoot to be honest i just, I just deleted that. a bunch of videos off the gopro to make space from that shoot <laughs> so anyway uh it, i don't even know i don't know what his name is do you give up um give me a, what does it start with an a adam <laughs> no that's a little too white is, isn't that the, that was, i was like white. that's the only white a name i can't even aaron nope 
Alex. It's my father's name. Alex? Nope. Oh. And it's a white person's name. Yeah. I think I said all of the A names. <laughs> well, I don't like remember an, either. Like so an anyways, name, welcome to Brown. But I generally, genuinely don't know <laughs> your name is either. But Wait, you, you Lilo, like you don't know what his Alex. first name is? What's your first name? It's Austin. Oh. I never would have guessed that. Yeah, <laughs> nope, that never. Is white, that's like a frat boy kind of way. That doesn't start with an A. That starts with an aw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, so Brown is probably one of my oldest friends that I have here. I've known him probably the longest out of almost everybody. Definitely the longest out of everybody in this room, besides you, of <laughs> course. <laughs> but we probably know ten times more about him. Oh, uh, maybe. Actually, I know. What, yeah, no. I know based what, based I know on the friendships we can play, based on the friendships that you tell me that you have, you don't know anything about any of your friends. So yeah, mm, yeah. yeah, I know enough. And so, why is he here? Uh, to be <laughs> our backup <laughs> colored commentator. Oh, so we just wanted one more colored person on here. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Colored, wait, is that is that is that ethnically eth- ethnically is that politically correct? Colored person? It might make some people mad. Oh, it's just it's it's not oh. like a slur. oh, it's person first. It's not a slur, but Thing. it's it's just outdated. What if what if I said colored folk? Is that better? But no. Or is that worse? <laughs> no, yeah, that's <laughs> probably that's way worse. worse. That's <laughs> worse. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's way worse. <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, the reason I said it like that is because that's like. That's a play on the words because, like, normally it would be color commentator is what that person that's just commenting on the video is called. Oh, all right. It's just to add color to the background of the noise. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So yeah. Cool. Anyway, what's going on today? Not too much. Um. Yeah, just living life. Uh, I do want to. So. I looked into Terrence Howard. Yeah. Oh, ooh, okay. Not a ton. Not okay. a ton. How much? I essentially stopped looking into Terrence Howard once I found out who he was. This entire... Okay. So first off, people should be taking this guy so seriously because he. I'm sure he learned everything he knew from Tony Stark. So he's a genius, right? I had no idea that that's who, ter- Tony, uh, that's who Terrence Howard was. He was, was. the first uh, Rhodes. Rhodes. I yeah. did not know War that. Machine. I just found this out like two days ago. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, oh, this this guy? Yeah, but he's This be- is the guy? He's better known from like Empire and uh, Hustle and Flow and a couple other right. uh But yeah, so movies. that's that's the guy. And then- If so, you haven't seen Hustle and Flow, you should probably watch it. I haven't. It. Okay, I'll it's watch it. I'll film. watch it. But yeah, so that's I learned who Terrence Howard was. I looked a little bit into his tangible. It's Which, not called tangible flight. It's called something tangelier or something like that. It's something different. But I under, yeah, I, I looked into that a little bit. That was interesting. Yeah, that's like, yeah. 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 So, yeah. He's, he's out there. He's doing his thing. And um, we'll see what comes of it. Yeah. It'll probably be a few years before, like, anything real is even, like, comes up or talked about yeah so and then uh right makes sense and then i found out that i was listening to an episode uh from back in the day when we were gonna have patrick swayze come out okay right and we're like oh like how crazy would it be if he just showed up ghosts is that what it was that was about were we talking about ghosts I, we may have been talking about ghosts but we were talking about patrick swayze i don't know and then we're like and here he is and then everyone was like oh how crazy would that be if he actually was here well i just found this out too like way too late the reason why it would be crazy not because we know patrick swayze it's because he's dead and we were talking about ghosts yeah I, that's i'm fairly like and he was oh. in the movie ghost yeah, ghosts, like yeah. it was like a like a really deep so, layered pun i really yes. didn't i didn't i didn't know that he was dead I mean, it's not like I thought he was alive. I just didn't know he was dead. So when I found out that he was dead, I'm like, well, that makes that whole scenario even crazier if you were to so show up. So you apologize to the Swayze family. I'm sorry, Swayze family. So, and now I have to do my apologies. We have to apologize to The Rock. I really, I'm sorry, man. I know you're part of every episode. Um, But we, 
you weren't in the last episode. We we didn't bring you up at all in the last episode, and I feel really bad about that. And I hope you really forgive us. Actually, more so than some of the other things that I've said. I hope you forgive us, me more for this. Actually, that was almost as good as my apology. Thanks. That was one of your better apologies, though, Tim. Well, because I was that it's one sincere. Like, you actually meant it. I meant yeah. it. I meant it. <laughs> I said I meant it. Yeah. That's good. So proud of you. What do you got going on? I'm um, not a whole lot. I mean, the world is a weird place right now. Yeah. I mean, it's been for a bit, but yeah. I mean, it's super weird. Yeah. Uh, one of our presidency candidates, uh, candidates. I can't even say that word. Candidates. Candidates. Um, has been shot. What? Our uh, uh, one Ooh. of them uh, dropped out. Huh? Yep. And uh, there's only two. Yeah, there's only two candidates. So one got shot and one dropped out. So we have no candidates. Yeah. Uh, well, the one that got shot survived. He was only shot in the ear. Um, and then the one that dropped out just got replaced. Mm. Cool. It's weird times. Um, heavy metal band opened up the Olympics. That's true. And things just are weird right now like isn't this all everything that just happened weird i mean yeah things are weird things are weird it's so it's really i wonder what's going to happen next well i mean what's the thing what like uh major governments can only last like 200 years or something like that so like we're past due so it's time for us to so we're kind of coming to our end. Is that true? Yeah. I've heard I've heard that before. Yep, that's that was like a philosopher who said that and if you go back and look at all of the major empires and and dynasties they they all they all say, only like, lasted what, about 200 years before. How long has like England been uh, doing its thing? Well, there so England though isn't the their England, government is like younger than ours, right? Yeah, it's younger than ours because it changed because it used to be the monarchy and then mm-hmm. now the monarchy isn't part of their government anymore. They're just figureheads for whatever, celebrity, I guess. So yeah, so they're actually technically younger than we are in that. It's pretty bizarre. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? So something's going to happen. Well, sure. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um uh, yeah, it's all gonna be weird. I don't have. I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, is it written down? So, somewhere? um, I'm gonna talk about something else. Okay, go talk about something else. Which char- Which cartoon character do you think would be like one of the most fun ones to hang out with? I mean, I could make an argument for SpongeBob. Can make a good argument for Ang. That'd be fun. Young Ang, not necessarily old Ang. Um, and I'm gonna pick one more. I'm gonna go with. Brack. Brack. <laughs> that would have been hilarious, actually. That came out of nowhere and that impressed me Thank i'm you. not gonna lie to that one brack was a good one yeah <sighs> they, they need to bring that show back yeah too. that one in space goes coast to coast yeah yeah those two shows i could watch those shows forever Mm-hmm. but i was thinking like i think johnny bravo could party pretty well yeah too bad jay's not here for that yeah <laughs> you know, he's johnny bravo um, the Angry Beavers seem like they would throw a pretty good party too. Well, not Norm Daggett. Well, I'd hang out with Daggett for sure. Yeah. What about, um, what about you guys? Do you have cartoon characters you're like, dude? I wish I could have hang out, hang oh, out with them. Light Yagami. No. <laughs> <laughs> Todd from BoJack Horseman. That's a very good point. That would be a good one. It's a good question. I was totally, you know what the funny thing is? I was totally thinking, I'm like, I was wondering Carl's going to think 
something with Bojack Horseman, but jo- Bojack was just depressing. That'd be depressing to hang out with him. So, I mean, so Todd, I forget. Yeah. <laughs> if I wanted to binge depressed. binge my death for a weekend, yeah, it'd probably be pretty good. Maybe the girls so. from Totally Spies, but if they were my age and not teenagers, that'd be right. fun. Like Ron from Kim Possible. Ooh, yeah. I'd, oh, nope, just Kim got, Possible. Nope, I'd hang out with Kim Possible. Out okay, with She'd be fun. <laughs> I'd have lots of fun with Kim Possible. Yeah, I think that's like has to be a consensual thing, and we're not going to get into that. But Ron, I what think. What are you talking about, going on missions and stuff like that? That'd no, be great. No, nah, that's not what you meant. And you it's, know it. Don't it, even lie to me. It's not, Marceline, it's not what I meant. the vampire queen. <laughs> I'd be her friend. That'd, That'd be, be cool. Besties. Well, So, Brown, you haven't answered. Uh, Jake? Yeah, Finn and Jake. Yeah, it'd probably be Finn and Jake. Okay. Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. Mm. Mm. And also, I don't know how well Johnny Bravo would do in this day and age. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? He canceled. He canceled. That is fair. Like, <laughs> yeah. That is, I was I mean, just thinking about that. I mean, whatever. I yeah, mean, I don't care, but. Yeah. I uh, so then that segue segues to another question though because of what I said about Kim Possible. I also have a question. Okay, <laughs> but Kim Possible. So did you guys ever have crushes on cartoon characters? Because like Kim Possible was a huge crush. Zuko. I mean, I'm sure you had. I'm sure. I mean, like we've had crushes on like anime-ish video game characters like Riku. Ugh. I mean, looking back on it, yeah, Riku from Final Fantasy X. Um, there was always something to say, like, you know, looking back, it's weird now, but I was appropriate age back when like yeah. Misty was hot. Oh yeah. Misty. <laughs> right. From I, that, would, that would be like a, that would be a, a, a cosplay that I could, I could get it on with. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, well, because people like, li- people like fantasize about like Princess Leia, like having their girlfriend be in Princess Leia, like costume, that slave costume yeah. that she had on. No, Misty. Give me Misty. <laughs> <laughs> or Kim Possible. Give me those cargo pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, probably Misty. I don't know. Um, Sora from Digimon. Right. I liked Static Shock when I was a kid. I had a little crush on him. All right. Static Shock. That's, a, that's not a bad one. Good yeah. Show. You too, Brown. You had a crush on Static Shock. <laughs> no. <laughs> Didn't we all? No. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> no, I, I honestly don't think I've ever felt that way about a cartoon. Not Jill too. Valentine. If we're gonna bring up Cowboy Bebop, Jill Valentine. That, <laughs> that probably did something to you. <laughs> you mean my? What? Who? Faye. Fuck. Faye. Faye. Faye yeah. Valentine. I got it wrong too. That's crazy. Yeah, you got That's right. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what? How about uh, Faye? How about you, Carl? Video game character? That's what I'm saying. Like, no. I remember back then having crushes on WWE divas. Oh, speaking of that, you guys know who uh, uh, Alexa Bliss is? It's Mm-mm. You know who Alexa that Bliss was is? One of the no. Ones when I was Alexis Bliss? Am I saying it wrong? Or you, you I don't, don't know what you're talking oh. about. Do you know Alexa Bliss? No, uh, if Jay was here, he probably know. He probably I just, would. I just discovered her. She is a short, little petite WWE, like so attractive girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so attractive. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. She's cool. For, I, I don't know how because like my Instagram is all about like birds essentially, and then. <laughs> Inside of it, all of a sudden, I just random get like a girl in a bikini, or like Alexa Bliss started showing up. But then I started like, I started like looking at Alexa Bliss, and now she pops up all the time. That's why I have multiple social media. They're each dedicated to certain things. Yeah, I have a car one, but the car one has way too many like girls in bikinis on it. <laughs> so I'm just like, I just look at birds then. Yeah, my Instagram is just all full of half naked women. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> I mean, like, good for you, but, like, it's it's kind of, like, that's not what I'm here for. <laughs> it just gets sucked down the rabbit hole. It, it's, yeah. it happens. Yeah. Uh, so what was your other question, then? You said you had another question. Have you seen Cowboy Bebop? Have you seen all of Cowboy Bebop? I have not seen all of Cowboy Bebop. I've seen the majority of Cowboy Bebop. 
Have you seen the end of Cowboy Bebop? No. Spoiler alert. Brown, Spike dead or not? What's your opinion? <laughs> I think that's up for the viewer. I'm not sure. I'd have to watch it again. Didn't you? T- uh, you haven't watched it recently, did you? Did not you recently, know? no. What, does okay. it just like float off into space or something? No. Oh, okay. No, it's much more awesome than that. It's a pretty, <laughs> it's a pretty cool ending, but right. it's it's just one of those things that's up for debate. I think right? I'd rather watch that than One Piece. Eh, fair enough. Have you watched more One Piece? No. You should watch Cowboy Bebop then. All right. You know what I do want to watch? What? I found out about this show, and it sounds ama- right up my alley based on the things that I say. Uh, it's called Ghost Stories Dubbed. Oh, yeah, we've been watching that. It's fucking horrible. But it's but hilarious. You're, but you're watching dubbed. You're, you're watching it in English. So you're actually watching it. You're watching an anime in English. Yeah. So was this was this show, though, a Japanese show? Yeah. Or did they make it and then they just, like, you guys just make up words? Go. No, well, they, they, when they got, when they brought it over here, it basically lost all its funding. Right. And so they and just were said, trying to just do, get away with stuff. Do what stuff, you yeah. want. You I, guys know what that is. I know you know. We've put it on. In the I basement. Want, it's I want to really watch bad. And it's like with that kid, he starts off and he's like, I don't want to do anything. And by the end of the episode, he devolves into just screaming and crying like he can't even speak anymore. But people still understand what he's saying. It's horrible. Yeah. It's There's, a fucking horrible. Like the, show. One of the clips of it, like they're like running on a track. And then this one guy's like, Run! Run like a giant black man is chasing you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's like one where the guy's like he's like talking really fast, and then all of a sudden he just starts going. How <laughs> Yeah, it's it's so bad. Like, I want to watch this whole show. I want to watch it. It's the one with the talking cat, and yeah. one of the meme clips that I've seen for it is someone's like, ah, oh, a cat, and then the cat's like, ah, oh, a bitch. <laughs> oh, that that's right. Okay, I remember the cat. Yeah. I remember the cat. Yeah, it's but so the real the real show though the Japanese horrible. one is called Ghost Stories though. I don't know what that real Japanese one is. I don't know oh, where no idea what it is where it is. I don't know where it is, and at this point, I don't even know what's real anymore because like it's very well possible that they just the English dub got popular and now the Japanese version. I I don't know, but the Japanese version just they just redid what our dub guys did oh so, so they just did they just did could, all of our i stuff don't know in japanese i'm just saying oh, it's geez, a possibility okay. oh so you just you're just okay you have no idea i don't i said that i don't you, know you, you have no clue correct yeah um all right yeah i want to watch it though so it's but it's funny it makes you laugh i i mean it's horrible all okay. right and it's i would say it's funny to watch in a group of people okay. because you guys can make fun of it. If you find things like that entertaining alone, then go for it. But alone, you may or may not get the same type of enjoyment out of it. Right. Good it's like know. playing cards against humanity, right? Yeah. yeah. That's a good example. What? But what's your personal opinion? Do you have a, an opinion on Cowboy Bebop? What? Me? Brown, yeah. What about it? Like what? What's what, how? How do you interpret the ending? Oh, I, honestly, I'd have to refresh my memory some more. I I watched like the movie recently. The movie? Yeah. Yeah. So that's like what's fresh in my mind, to be honest. How did you feel about the movie? I think it's it's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's not spectacular. Or right. Anything, that's how I felt about it. It was yeah. like this could have been an episode, right? Like. Yeah. But you should watch Cowboy Bebop. Right. I highly you should. Them. Right. Yeah, that's, I mean, I like Cowboy Bebop. Ones. It's it's short and digestible. Um, My high school jazz band, we played Tank. Nice. Yeah, that was fun. It has an incredible soundtrack. It just does. everything about it. It's actually one of the better English dubbed animes that exist as well. Spike's just too cool. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. And also Steve Bloom. Steve Bloom, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, he's the best. Yeah, Steve Bloom is one of the best voice actors that exists. He's in Final Fantasies. He's in, um, you know, he's Toonami Tom. Who does he voice in Final Fantasy? He's quite a few people, actually. I figure, but like... Um, He's a random shopkeeper um, that gives you a lot of quests in Final Fantasy XV. Okay. Um, have you played 12? He's Begabnin. 
So like it's really he you won't be able to tell because he sounds like this while he's talking. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to tell. Um He is Goku in the Super Nintendo Dragon Ball Z oh. fighting game, I think is what really? it was. I think, or maybe an early PlayStation one. Yeah, he did voice Goku in one thing. And does but does he sound like Goku? Or I don't does he know. sound like Steve Bloom? I do not know. I mean, he has a higher. He can do a higher pitched voice. He doesn't always do the silky, sultry, yeah. sexy voice like that he has. Yeah, Tom and Spike. Right. Cool. I don't know. I would actually like to see a whole list. Can we please pull up Steve Bloom? No, I'd like to see. What we, we, that's going to be like an hour and fifty minutes episode just going over from his list. Fair enough. Um. But I, <laughs> better 40 <laughs> minutes a lot. You guys it's are just true. lucky you're never going to see the lost thing. Oh, it might come out. No, yeah. let's just not do that. When we set up a Patreon. <laughs> if you yeah. really... <laughs> that's what, we paid for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Cool. Uh, you got any, like, stories or anything? Um. About what? I don't know anything i do want to say i do want to bring up the funny i don't think i told you but it was funny regarding one of the things we said during the last episode okay carl goes he goes uh, i didn't want to say this downstairs because i don't know how you're gonna feel about it and we're like what and at this point we're walking out of the garage he goes well, i was gonna say you know you like it because he made meth and just as we walked out of the garage, mom and dad were just like <laughs> sitting there. And it was just like, all right, hey, what's up, guys? Who made meth? Hitler oh. and his regime. Like, that was like the original meth. They would just, oh, that like, was the original meth? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Well. And they would pump it full of, like, it, it, him. He w- It was like, they would give it to him. Just so he would keep going. That's how he got Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease. Oh, I didn't know how he had that. Yep. But he, so he was in his bunker when he died and he killed himself, right? Okay. And he married some woman. His cousin. Huh? Mm-hmm. Ava mm-hmm. Braun. Like the day before he killed himself and killed her. Okay. Which is crazy to me because like a decade of war totally fine he can handle that one day of marriage nope <laughs> yeah yeah that's kind of crazy women women be crazy yeah see we and she agrees the, the lady that we have here agrees thank you Lilo yeah but it's men are fun. also crazy like you can't just say that you're also not that men aren't also crazy completely different kinds of crazy well yeah that may be true yeah um dr ruth the sex lady died yes oh there's a lot of people that died yeah a lot of people died a lot of but a lot of people probably the biggest one um i don't know about that no yeah no she wasn't richard simmons died richard simmons which died. actually i find really disappointing because of the whole biopic thing Okay, so, so for those of you that don't know, is Polly Shore has been working on trying to do a biopic of Richard Simmons, where Polly Shore plays Richard Simmons. Who's Polly Shore? <sighs> is that the guy from Jersey Shore? No, Polly. Uh, he's nope. a comedian, and he was in a lot of movies in the '90s and Seen No Man, like, um, in the Army. Now, Biodome, I'm going to work on my tannage, buddy. He is in this movie called Polly Shore is Dead. He's basically the son of the woman that made comedy, Mitzi Shore. Oh, I could see him playing Richard Simmons. Yeah, especially in his age now that he Ooh. really looks like it. And like so that. Richard Richard Simmons actually blocked the biopic, said no. Okay. 
and Polly came out trying to like like hey man like I don't understand why like this isn't a picture of making trying to make fun of you like I'm trying to do a really faithful thing and I want your permission and I really still want to work with you so he was trying to do this biopic about Richard Simmons and he just up and dies yeah. he said no yeah he said no yeah he's no so like that one <clears throat> in my opinion was kind of uh sad to see like that kind of like put a damper on Polly Shore's things yeah makes sense um yeah a bunch of other people just died though I mm-hmm. don't remember really all who but I don't remember either yeah the but super size me guy died oh the super size me guy died okay from I think cancer hold on okay as long as it was a heart name again I as long as it wasn't a heart attack I was gonna say is this Morgan linked something. to McDonald's Allegedly. You just say allegedly. <laughs> Morgan Spurlock. Um, yeah, he died of cancer. Cancer, okay. In May. Mm. That's right, that's right. See, the world's a weird place right now. The sex doctor died. Polly, uh, uh, Richard Simmons died. And Super Size Me guy died. Super Size Me died. There's way more people that died than that, too. I forget yeah, who yeah. else did. All of the people that died. So you want <laughs> all of them? <laughs> I just want to look up all oh, of man. the people that died ever. <laughs> um, is, are you sad about Doctor Ruth? That one hit me a little bit. Wh- why? Because I just I knew who she was. Okay. <laughs> and that one hit you because you knew who she was. She was on the grassy. She was ancient. She was old. She was an old lady. Um, like that one makes sense. Yeah, I mean Richard Simmons was pretty darn old, wasn't he? Yeah. What did he die from? I don't know. Let's find out. But that one, the yeah. What, what are you laughing at over there? You got your fact checker oh. right here. Yes, yeah. she is supposed to be our fact checker. Yeah, you're, so, you're supposed to be doing that too, Brown. Yeah, fact check. They don't know yet what happened. They oh. don't know what happened. Not yet. Who's the person that died where there was, like, foul play or something like that? Was that Richard Simmons? That's almost everybody. Where there was, like, potential, like, foul play? That's, like, almost everybody. No, it was, like, it was like if you're in everybody. Hollywood, if you're in Hollywood, <laughs> I feel like there's probably some sort of foul play on your death. All right. Like, Heath Ledger. Not Betty White, though. Who was that? Anna, uh, mm-hmm. Anna Nicole Smith. Oh, yeah. She died? Right? Yeah. A long time ago. A while ago. ago. Brittany even... Murphy. Brittany Murphy. Brittany Murphy died? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now oh, you're just making things up. You just I, uh, don't didn't, know. Well, first off. You didn't even know about Patrick Swayze. No, but I'll tell you. So, like, Anna Nicole Smith and Brittany Murphy recognize the names. I have no idea who those two people are. So, the fact that I know that I don't know if they were dead or not, it doesn't matter to me because I had no idea who they actually are. Okay. Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers died this year. Carl Weathers? I don't know who oh, that is. Oh, OJ. We forgot oh, yeah, about OJ Simpson. Simpson. That was a while ago, though. That was this year, though. Yeah, but that was like at the beginning of the year, wasn't it? It was like March. I'm talking about this year. Okay. The year's more than half over. Most of these people I have not heard of. Oh, Chance Perdomo. That's right. I don't know who that is. He's an actor. He is now part of the 27 Club because he was mm. 27 when he passed away. Nice. No. Toby Keith. Toby Keith? Yeah, we knew that. Right. We cancer. talked about that. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, yeah. people die. People do die. People be dying. That's a thing. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's so <laughs> sick, bro. <laughs> it's been a year. It's been an interesting year. It's the halfway... The ha- uh, as we are over halfway and th- this yeah. episode's going to come out way after that this will yeah. be like three quarters of the year in yeah by the time this episode comes out there's it's probably going to be like october so or november who do you think's next okay i don't know um <laughs> mm, chadwick boseman he, he's gone that's, yeah, what already happened <laughs> <laughs> What year are you in? Yeah, I know that one. That one was. 
That one hurt me, actually. I liked him. Um, Probably Clint Eastwood. Oh, he's pretty old. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I hope he goes out like a badass, too. Like Norm MacDonald did. Gene Simmons. <laughs> Is he still alive? I don't even yeah. know. Yeah. Okay. I mean, okay. I mean, I think he'll live a while yet. Right. He like, lived a he lived a pretty clean life. I guess we could like it's potential that we like on the opposite end of the spectrum there, Ozzy. I've yeah. been here and he's not doing the best. I was gonna say I, too, I could I could see the rest of the band Rush expiring here soon. <laughs> yeah. It's the rest of that, Rush. That'd be unfortunate. So what else have you been up to lately? Have you found a job yet? I accepted a job yesterday. Congratulations. Thank you. Um doing the same thing you were doing? Better. Oh. Cool. Same type of work, just better. Better better pay. Two positions higher than what I was. Nice. Um I don't know what gives them the right to do that, but huh? I don't know what gives them the right to do that. What Put you, you in that high of a position. Cuz I have this cuz it's it's because of the stuff I was doing at the company I was at, the responsibilities that I had were at a higher position for what the company I'm going to is at. Mm. So I'll actually be teaching people things that they don't have experience with because it's not something that they typically handled. Nice. Yeah. Um, right. Cause it's a different, I will, I'll be working in a different industry. So, so you said you haven't been watching one piece then? I have not been watching one piece. No. Don't, have, have you been watching anything else? Uh, or have you just been playing golf. I've been playing a lot of golf and then uh, we started watching this movie. Um, you're the worst or this tv show called you're the worst okay um it's funny it's on hulu it's a british guy and a white girl i mean i guess british people are also white so but american girl who fall in love with each other but they're both like super super cynical about the world and they essentially like hate on each other but love each other at the same time so that's an interesting one the first episode they they like met at a wedding Yes. Right. They mm -hmm. meet at a wedding. Yep. Like, yeah, I think I've seen some of that. That was a bizarre situation. Yeah. I, I, I lol at that show quite often. Uh, and then we're watching the house of dragons. Yeah. yeah. Are you enjoying that one? It's not nearly as good as game of Thrones was. Yeah. Which honestly, I'm not that surprised because the last season of game of Thrones was absolutely atrocious. And so they kind of just ran out of writing ability. And so now here they are making more episodes, but there's going to be, as far as I know, there's going to be two other spins off of Game, Game of Thrones. One, is, one of them is supposed to be about Jon Snow above uh, North of the Wall. And the other one is going to be called, uh, like, Night of the Watcher, like Night's Watcher. Not Night's Watch. Night of the... Night of the Realm or something. It's about the it's about the, the knights who protect the, the king and all that kind of it's stuff. George R. R. Martin involved in any of this? Absolutely, he is. He mm -hmm. is. Yep. Okay. So. Hmm. All right. So he. So he just lost like writing his writing ability. I, I'm not sure. Like he could die at any moment. Too. Well, the, well, the thing is, is that that's he, another one. So the thing is, is that he has it's it's following the stories that are in the books. Like this stuff is all written in a book already, just like Game of Thrones was, but. He wrote the books to be so unpredictable, and he wanted the show to be just as unpredictable, which meant you he can't follow what the books do to the T. So he, he wants things to be completely – so if you read the books, you still don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, okay. But I so, understand all that. What does that have to do with my original statement of he just lost his writing ability then? Well, I'm saying that he – that he again, he had his writing ability in the past – and now he's trying to rewrite it. So he lost it. Well, but I think, but I think he could make new, brand new content. I think he could make brand new content and do a good job at it, right? If he wanted to write another book, I think he would knock it out of the park. Okay. But it's the fact that he's trying to like tweak it and rewrite it and reimagine it that that and with another with a team of people and producers who also want to have a say in it, and that's kind of where the hiccup happens, right? So I'm, not, I'm not even sure how much of the writing he does. He just has a heavy hand in in the shows because he created it and he wants it to match his vision. But Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. 
does he have do you know does he have a plan to like finish are the books done no i think there's he has more that he plans on writing for the world that sounds pretty intense how do you be 88 how old is he he's not 88 is he he is old as fuck how old is that (laughs) older than you imagine that's what i he's older than you think yeah, see, yeah, no, he's not 80. I'm like, he's that's, <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> fucking old. That's pretty fucking old for somebody to say, hey, this book that takes me 15 years to write, I got a couple more of them in pl- planned. And I take things literally to him because no one can do it. Yeah, so 75. <laughs> he is 75 years old, George R.R. R. Martin, which is pretty fucking old. Yeah. Which, and I also say, He's old. I say it like that because he is actually kind of a young spry dude. He is actually a jolly spry dude. He does things. He's out and about. He goes to events and shit. So, and, and he's pretty jolly and he seems pretty with it. So his age is actually like way older than I thought he would be. Right. So I, I find that bold. I find that bold to say I have a couple more of these books planned right. at his age. Because that just means that that just guarantees that this story is never going to be finished. I mean, but it's like yes and no, because like the stories of people end, but he's not necessarily writing a story of people. He's writing a story of a world, right? So it shouldn't end. There shouldn't be a reason why it would end because the world continues on. So there's always going to be more to say about it just with new people. Yeah, but then he'll never finish his stories. That's a thing. It's like he'll never finish this story. Okay. But I mean, like, like I mean, how long has, like, the Marvel stuff been going on? Like, that stuff's never going to end. Even though Stan Lee died, that's never going to so end. Are, so are you saying he's going to sell off the rights to the Game of Thrones here soon? I wouldn't be surprised. For, to, I wouldn't be surprised if can H- make more. I wouldn't be surprised if HBO has full rights that they'll be able to continue doing whatever they want to do forever. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. And at some point, Disney's going to buy him. I hope not. I think Dis- Disney owns Hulu now. Is that true? The that's only reason why true. the only reason why I say that is because Hulu is within the Disney Plus app now. That's why that's yeah. why I think that. But um <clears throat> yeah. But uh Disney does own Hulu. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Disney owns Hulu. <coughs> Who owns HBO? HBO. Is that like a param like somebody probably no. owns Paramount is Paramount. They're their own thing. Warner Bros. Discovery. Okay. Warner Brothers. So no. So no. Since it's Warner Brothers, no. They won't own that. They won't own what? Disney. Disney won't own that. Because it's Warner Brothers. Okay. That's DC. That's DC and Marvel. That's the difference Why? right there. They could still own it. No, I don't uh, think so. It's gonna be, that's going to be the two on top forever. That'll be, they should start acquiring other things now, like Disney has. So does Disney own Marvel? Yeah. Or does Disney own rights to Marvel and the MCU? Di- so does Disney own, like, the production of comic books and all that kind of stuff? No, Disney owns Marvel Studios. Okay. Which is just so it's great. it's yeah so it's the things that <coughs> um they they are allowed uh, certain IPs so for instance um that's why this uh the Deadpool and Wolverine movie is a big deal right now have you seen it no are you going yet. to uh, I don't know. I want to see it. I don't have anyone to go see it with, though. Um, I'll but see that, it with you. But that, <gasps> it's a big Thank deal you. because it was they were owned by Fox. Yeah, and well, Disney has acquired Fox recently. X Men was owned by Fox. Yeah, so that was Deadpool. Oh, I thought Deadpool wasn't owned by Fox because that's why in all the other Deadpool movies they essentially have 
no X Men in it. That's why it was, or no, it was, yeah, it was. No, Fox no. owned X Men. Sony owned Spider Man and Deadpool, I think. And then Marvel's Marvel. Yeah. And then Sony, yeah, and then Fox owned that. Uh, Sony also owned the Fantastic Four, if I think if that was correct. Oh, jeez, darn it. You can't even throw it. Yeah, you just. He was playing with that, and you made him throw it to you, and you can't even catch it. I wanted us all to play. Let's all play a game. Um. Speak, <laughs> speak, <laughs> speaking of weird IPs, this episode might be coming out around the same time. Have you heard about this? Have you heard about this, Carl and Brown? What about me? There is a comic coming out in October it'll be out in October that is a crossover and there's been a lot of famous crossovers in comic books uh, Marvel and DC uh, most recently there was Godzilla vs Power Rangers um, but in uh, October there is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Naruto hmm. huh. I have not heard of that you haven't <laughs> heard you haven't no. heard of these oh yeah so I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see what's coming. It's weird that you bring that up because Why? I don't know if this is related because yesterday I was scrolling through Instagram and I didn't get girls in bikinis, but I got birds. No, I got a bunch of fan art of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fighting a bunch of other random famous groups. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's just kind of weird that I saw that yesterday completely unprompted by what you're uh, saying. And who, 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 who were they fighting? Do you remember some of them? Uh, yeah, like like there's Superman and like the Justice League. Um, there was uh, some others. I don't remember okay. all of them. Fair enough. Yeah. I think one of them was actually like Ed and Eddie. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Ed is scary. Yeah. He's strong. Um, yeah. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is having like a come a up in, back. a comeuppance, and uh, and they are uh, yeah they're I'm excited I'm excited to see what's coming. There's Good. the last Ronin stuff, the live action last Ronin. Well, and there's supposed to be like a video game that's supposed to be a slightly Ooh, yeah that'd be cool yeah slightly kind of along the lines of like what the Arkham uh Arkham Knight games Arkham Asylum games were. So that's exciting, right? cool it's carl's time to pray yeah <laughs> you don't have your rug though he does he's on a rug that's a carpet <laughs> it's, it's all he needs it's a rug i don't i think if you asked those types of people i i still think they'd have to put down a prayer rug what types of people carl <laughs> be muslims carl's not muslim <laughs> then what's he praying for that how like dare him. you ask that question <laughs> That is between him and himself. No, but not no, not and like his beliefs. No, 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 not what he's praying for. Like, what is what is the point of his? Like, what is he? Don't asking? ever ask. That's horribly offensive. It's not. Yeah. What is the point of your religion, Carl? Jesus. How is that, that offensive? Is first horrible. Off, first off, how is that offensive? Wanting to know, you you wanting to know someone's like culture slash religion, asking them like what it what it means to them. That's not offensive at all. Well, and second of all, he is in the middle of his prayer right now. <laughs> Like, you are interrupting this. You! You're the one who pointed it out. You pointed it out to the entire world that he was starting to pray. Yeah, so don't don't put that on me. Yeah, because if there's other people that don't want to Don't put that evil in, on me. I didn't interrupt, though. I just wanted to, like, let other people join in. Come on. Oh, yeah, Carl's not religious oh, no, at I all. I know. I know. <laughs> almost, <laughs> almost, almost everyone who goes to a like a, a religious school isn't. I yeah, think Carl, Carl already did that. Yeah, Carl did that one. So way to so go. We, we got it again. We Come got on. two of them. Don't be mean. Stop being mean. What is your mean? Well, she's already kicking boxes and. Don't yeah. make me come out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can join us up here. 
That would be interesting. Stumble we should have, my way. Should have had brown. We well, that's actually. This. I was thinking like if we have guests, I wanted to pull up that tiny little rocking chair and put it right here in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah, middle? right here. Right Just in the middle pushed. of everybody. <laughs> so, Brown, do you have anything for us? Uh, no, not at this moment. No. Are you speaking into the microphone? Am I? What I a, don't know. I what a special so. guest we got over here. <laughs> kind of. I don't. I don't have the headphones, so there I can't hear. There we go. You don't have anything? Okay, that's better. Okay. You're Carl for today. Oh, I am Carl. I see that. Yeah, you're yeah. Carl. <laughs> that's, that's where we're at. Carl sat out. Yeah. Just what it feels like to be Carl, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Not like, bad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> not bad, he says. Yeah. Not too that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> You've always wanted to be a white man. Just a I've always taste. wanted a little taste of that, yeah. <laughs> but like he pretty much he pretty much is. I'm sorry. He just you kind of are. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's so you guys are so like light, so like I would like why uh, Wow. Are you calling me light? Yeah. But are you not did say light you guys skin. are so light skinned? Like, are too you light not, bright like, back what, here? What are you what are you mixed with? A bunch of stuff. But are you mixed with white people? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why can't you be white too? Because I just don't look like y'all. I don't know his last name. I because it's not brown. <laughs> it's Windizer. It's it's. Oh, I German. thought it was gonna be like something Ouski or something. <laughs> no. That's yeah. closer to my last name. Yeah, but uh, so like, just be white if you want to be white. Just identify as white. Yeah, that that totally mean. works. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You heard it here first from Danny. Just be white <laughs> if you want to be white. <laughs> and that's it for today, folks. <laughs> if you want to watch a slightly less racist episode, click right here. If you want to watch... Last week. Last week was also... Was also <laughs> well... <laughs> okay, you're right. If you want to... <laughs> Mainly speaking of Mexico <laughs> and Jamaica. <laughs> oh. So yeah, so I guess if you want to watch the last racist episode, <laughs> click right here. If you want to watch all of them, click right here. And if you want to just visit our channel and subscribe, click right here. Jeez, you're That's terrible. terrible. Yeah, man. <laughs> I don't think it'll stop them. <laughs> it's just it just fuels them. It's like, look, I have a black it friend. It fuels them. I got both my black friends here right now.